to the girl who maybe she don't like to dance when she go outside. She feel like she look like a fool. She can't have a good time. She might see Boo shaking ass on her story. She like, you know what? When I go outside next time, I'm shaking. Bow, 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 bow. That's, That's that booty me. <laughs> because, yeah, you know, sometimes it's wow. other ways to inspire. And I feel like as women, we're put in a box. And it's like, like literally, we're put in a box. You are now watching. You are now watching. You are now watching. You are now watching. Two girls. Two girls. Two girls. See two girls. One taco. And one taco. Uh-huh. And one taco. One taco. Yes, adios mio, aquí voy. Están viendo dos chicas y un taco. You go. He cold. Okay, That's like, the motherfucking no, one. What image or message do you convey through your social media on a daily? Well, okay, we can go with on a daily um, and overall. On a daily, how I feel. If I want to be mysterious today, I might not post much. Just one little meme, one little quote. Have you wondering what's going on with Marie, like... Oh my gosh, she's sad. Or you know, what I'm saying I like the I like to keep the people guessing because people love to go off Instagram like it's real life. So you want to trip somebody up? Put a little something on there. I know a lot of some, some of my homegirls they like to post a little like they out the country. Girl, you went on that trip three months ago. <laughs> that man, th- I'm not gonna let me stop. Let me not put the tea out there. It's all right. too much. But um, yeah, on a daily it's just how I feel. Um, I like to spread good vibes. So I always like to get like some good inspirational stuff. Um, I like aesthetics. I might post some fashion stuff. Um. Yeah, on as a whole though on my page, more so the same like aesthetics. I don't really I haven't been showing myself like in a lifestyle type of way, like my personality. It's more so just like bad bitch, bad nine, music. That's all it is. It's not really who I really am, and so that's why I really wanted to come on to this podcast wow. because this, you know, she's gonna get posted, listen it, you know, pinned to the page. So when you come to my page, you can literally click right there and see. Okay. This is who she is, or this is how she might be when I come in contact with her. Right. So, yeah, I would say that's probably my whole page gives, like, model, art, music. Yeah. Okay. Artist. That's, mm-hmm. that's thorough. Uh, for my joint, I think you said, what do my page give off? What image or message you, you do you convey through social media? Excuse me. Oh, uh, I just... Man, like, you not going to understand. Like, you really just got to get around me. Like, it's, uh, what they say? Y'all seen the Da Vinci Code? They said, like, you had to hold the text up to the mirror and backwards to read it or something. Like, Mm -hmm. you need to have the cheat codes or, like, my bad, an easier one. You need to have the 3D glasses to see this movie. And if you don't come past the beginning and get the 3D glasses, the movie going to fuck your head up. Fuck you up the whole time. That's, That's what I would. That's what I want to do. You got you to understand. You got to know the director. If you know, you know. If you, if you, know, if you, you don't, know. you broke. If you don't, you broke. There you go. Come on. <laughs> that part. That part. And yours, you out of dog. Um, so I guess mine just conveys overall um, on a daily. My story just gives cunt <laughs> as bitch that does not know how to fucking shut the fuck up because I don't and will never probably. But sometimes I take the back seat, you know. Sometimes I like the mysterious route. You know, you just never know what you're going to get when you come onto my social media. But I do like to post the booty. I like to post the bounce. I like to post the jiggle. So you know where the roll bounce through. You feel me? But um, a lot of times I feel like I do touch on different uh, topics, different issues, um, I try to stay out of the wind work of the issue side because we just want to see life on the bright side. But I am informative. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, same for okay. sure. Okay. I like that. I, I didn't I ain't say about the story, but I think I, I like what you post too. But I was going to say I don't really, uh, I be trying to inspire the people. Like mm-hmm. if you click on my story, like I know I ain't posting pictures like that. I don't post pictures like that. Uh, I don't, it makes me feel awkward asking people to take pictures of me. Maybe, I don't know, but. I used yeah. to feel that way all the time. Man, people it can say, like, I'm photogenic, but it takes me, like, it'll be a hundred photos. I'm picking three yeah, I'm gonna take, photos. I'm, I'm going to take a good picture, but I just, yeah. I, I feel. Yeah, like, awkward. You know what I'm saying? Awkward. But. A little awkward, but for sure, inspiration, like, I love this spread good vibes, okay? I really, right. 
Can we touch back on the ass shaking though? Can we can we get on that? Yeah, can we true. can we touch down yeah. on that? Because that's always, a very that controversial way. topic. You know, girls getting on Instagram and showing their ass, shaking their ass, and doing ass it's like, oh, you're a hoe, you're a slut, you're a whore. Like, how do we feel about that? All right, let me tell you. Can I let me open up with this? Go ahead, I, open the I, can of worms. Please do. And let me sip to that. So when you go to the jewelry store, right? They don't put the most expensive Rolex. I mean, listen, and listen to my point, too. They don't put the most expensive or iced out or bust down Rolex out for display so you can grab that joint, right? And since we talk about Instagram and social media, you technically are putting the Roly in the glass box. But at the same time, it's like you don't want nobody. A man don't want a lady showing off his secrets or his goods or like everybody should know like mm -hmm. like your social security number like nobody should have that for real you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying and i think i've been thinking heavily about this too because they say back in the day you used to had to go buy a playboy magazine to look at some news mm -hmm. like you could just open twitter or sometimes i don't, I don't think instagram do it but like whatever you try to find you can find it on the internet and like I just think that's crazy. Mm -hmm. You think it's insane? I, I, no, I see. no, 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 no. But I'm not judging. Please, I mm -hmm. condone. I condone. You the just don't want shaking. your women doing that. Yeah, I mean, if you if you single, by all means, like yeah. you advertising what they got. At the I definitely shop. agree. If you're single, you should have free range. I feel like it's all in how you do anything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But. It's literally how I feel, like, on the day. Like, if I want to get on Instagram, get on my, you know what I'm saying? Maybe in my close friends, I'm shaking ass, and I want to inspire I, the girls to shake ass. Or if I take a picture or I had, like, a, a vulgar um, photo shoot because I want to show off my body or I want to show off this lingerie or whatever, like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like men are taking everything women do and making it about them. Like, oh, like, we're trying, you're, you're trying to get this attention. Well, I will say a lot of women that is the case, but also like it goes back down to dancing and things like that. Like that actually releases like sure, emotional trauma, time. like sir, it's like everything in your hips and like, yeah, you don't have to post everything. But also our platform is to share and to expire. So to the girl who maybe she don't like to dance when she go outside, she feel like she look like a fool. She can't have a good time. She might see boo shaking ass on her story. She like, you know what? When I go outside next time, I'm shaking, bow, 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 bow. That's, That's that booty, booty me. <laughs> because, yeah, you know, sometimes it's wow. other ways to inspire. And I feel like as women, we're put in a box. And it's like, like, literally, we're put in a box. And it's like, if you doing anything outside of that box, you're labeled, you're, you're deemed unworthy or you're deemed lower value. But I do understand the point of you're showing off everything that is supposed to be your man if you have a man. And I also can agree that it can bring attention that, we don't want, but at the same time, if you're going to carry yourself, it ain't going to take too long to weed out the ones who here for that and who right. not because it's going to show in action. So I just feel like it's childish because ain't nobody talking about y'all, but y'all, you, not y'all, but the men showing their money and they showing guns and they, you don't have that, you're wrong. Them and you don't have this, that's not your life. Them bathroom thirst traps. You in the mirror the like. friends goes crazy. Whoa, and then to send don't. them directly to me after you take the thirst trap is crazy after Instagram's already seen it, but that's insanity. I think, I think niggas just don't be having etiquette. Like niggas don't have the proper etiquette. Like they not familiar with the process. Like, I was talking to one of my close friends and it's just like a nigga is just unfamiliar okay. with that. All right. Um, so <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and just shoot off the top. So um as me being a part time entrepreneur, part time dancer, part time social media mogul, all of these different particles and all these different things, artists, blah, 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 blah. Um, the, a lot of times I don't think that how can I put this? All right, boom. So if she making money shaking her ass and that's how you met her, she does not compromise her morals. She does not compromise her standards. And I'm very vocal. Um, not only that, I know that I represent more than just me in the club. So that is conveyed across every level of my social media, my platforms, anything. You can go on any of my social medias, my TikTok, my Instagram, my Twitter, well, probably not my Twitter, because Twitter, I just be, yeah, 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 hey, I'm so in love here, yeah, I'm so sad. Um, that's my Dr. Seuss version of me, but TikTok, Instagram, um, my live streams, you can always 
find information mm -hmm. about other things because I'm an advocate for health and um, naturopathic medicine and healthy ways of living, dieting, all different types of stuff. So um, there's a lot more to a lot of those women. It's not all of the, it's not all of the dancers. It's not all the girls in the boot club, but it is a, a, a nice amount that Chaco, have other things like going on. Why are you looking like that? I'm listening. I'm All right. in the club. Yeah. Because yeah. I feel like I feel like as a lady, like uh, uh, like you said, if you met her there, like you already used to that. So like I'm not going. I'm not the type of dude that's gonna go through and judge you or say that this or that is wrong. Like if I if I fuck with you, I met you and you was doing that. That's what you should do. Like if somebody, if a girl came and told me like. I don't like the way you're doing two girls one taco. Sorry, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to kick rocks because what you think I'm gonna say? I feel like this goes back into <laughs> put it down, put it down. You all right? You all right? Okay, I feel like right. this goes back into even like the prize conversation that question because as a man, your role is to lead. You know what I'm saying? And so even though you might have met her in circumstances that you might not want her in, and that's you know what I'm saying. That's how she can sustain or that's how she's been going on. You come with a different vision. You come a different way. You can lead her to another way to put her on that pedestal and to make her a prize because that's a man's. All right, but look, that's what I'm saying, though. As a, as a lady, if, mm -hmm. you, if you're a dancer, mm -hmm. let's, say, let's say you make uh, $1,700 a week, right? Mm -hmm. You should have some type of show for that outside of, like, your bills or outside of whatever it is that you have, like you should have done something with it. Like for me, in the same way, I've been taking my little excess of money, mm -hmm. building my joint up, building my joint up, building my joint up. So it's like, like I said, I don't have no problem with you dancing. Now, what are you doing? What's your, your goals? What's your like, plans? What are you doing you with that? Like every, yeah, I do feel like any body in the club, like any woman dancing in a club, and shout out to the dancers because I feel like it's slept on. Like that's a hustle in itself. Right. Like, like everybody can't do that. The girls can't do that. I done been there. I done been in the club a couple nights and had to go do what I had to do and try to do what I had to do. You know, I'm not even say I might not even go back, but I realized like, yeah, it's not nothing to be played with. Like we real hustling in here. Like I'm gonna get mine. I don't really give a fuck who what you do that and it's part. a different respect that comes with it as a female because a lot of them girls are going to school to be nurses they want to put themselves right. through school to be lawyers they want to be doctors, doctors. they want to get their money so they can start their business but what i'm saying is for a man if you come into a club you throwing your money you, you done threw four bands in the girl section you like her da -da -da -da, you could come into that situation and instead of saying how some men do not saying that's how you are like you shouldn't do this da -da -da, be like baby what's your aspirations like what you want to do like, oh, you want to get some sweets? Oh, like, let me give you this money. So, like, let me help you or let me, let's come up with a plan. It's not I even about the money thing. Yeah, like, what you what you want to learn how to do? How to get this business loan? Right. How to do this? Like, how you feel like you should approach the situation? Like, where can I help you? It's, the, it's not it's not that conversation. It's just judging, like, no, around see, the board. A man, a man got to be able to do that. I feel like as a man, you should have some <laughs> skills that you can bring to, if you, let's say, a dancer or a waiter. Because they say, like, a queen will never look in a peasant's direction, but a king will turn a peasant up. You know what I'm saying? With, mm -hmm. Oh, with, hell yeah, they will. Right? Mm -hmm. I've so seen it. What, I, what I'm saying is like in order, so many times. In, in order to be a king, you may have had to master different strategies. And mm -hmm. with that, you have something that you could teach. Now, somebody who's just traveling, like, that's quick, fast mm -hmm. money. You can come throw that. It's a good weekend. Woo -doo -woo -doo -woo. But like, coming to the club and really like, okay, you know, I like this. Yeah, or I don't like, want to see you working. Or what can I teach you? Or what type of skills do you have? that I can help, that you could either help this business, but, you know, sometimes when you get all that money, you don't want to, like, submit to a man. 